the technology that makes anything manifest in the earth is that the spirit and the bride say come so in pressing for the knowledge that makes you mighty and victorious by the spirit i was able to list for us foundationally listen no matter what you know in the spirit if you do not know this that i'm about to review you will live a defeated life a life that will consistently misrepresent god can i run the list for you number one you must know god this is the first thing i taught you that in order of spiritual priority as you explore spiritual knowledge in your quest to walk in victory and dominion your first port of call is that you must know God through Jesus Christ the way we know God is to learn Jesus the Bible says but the people that do know their God they shall be strong and they shall do exploits let me tell you the truth your confidence in life is predicated upon the God that you know are we together if you know a weak God you will manifest a weak destiny if you know a lopsided God based on your perception you will produce a lopsided destiny you must know God you must press to know Jesus and I went further to teach you that in knowing God there are three major areas we explore number one we know God by studying his character we know God by studying his character you want to know God you study his character for instance the entire Psalm 103 Psalm 103 is in my opinion one of the most concise compendium of God's character you can know God when you study his character number two you know God when you study his ways his modus operandi his principles the mysteries of the kingdom we know God when we study his ways it helps you to know how God behaves and it helps you to know how God does not behave it helps you to understand how the kingdom was structured to operate the third and final platform for knowing God is by learning his power Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 19 and to know the exceeding greatness of his power to us what who believe God wants us to know him by knowing his power. Something happens to you when you know how powerful God is. It has the capacity to kill fear. It has the capacity to erode unnecessary concerns. When you know who God is and the power that was invested in raising Christ from the dead, the power that took him from Hades to the earth, took him from the earth to the throne, that same power can take you from any level to any level. Are we learning? Number two, the second foundational knowledge all believers must have as far as building your knowledge bank for a victorious life is concerned is that number two, you must know yourself in light of who Christ is. This sounds very elementary, but this is profound. Get ready to live a frustrated life if you do not know yourself in light of who Christ is our world today has suffered and sadly continues to suffer a cancer of identity crisis champions acting like chickens warriors acting like weak men Gideons hiding not knowing that they have the destinies of warriors that they have the capacity to lead an army something happens to you when you learn yourself not just from a sociological standpoint not just from an anthropological standpoint you learn yourself in light of who christ is because when we know him we were created in his image so you learn him to know yourself you don't investigate yourself to know yourself no the new man is a reflection of who christ is so you learn Christ to know who you are or who you should be. Many believers do not know who they are. Number three, the third foundational knowledge that you need in order to live an excelling and a victorious life is that you must know your place in destiny and God's prophetic program. I wish I could spend all night talking about this. 
you must know if you know God through Jesus Christ you know yourself in light of who Christ is your next assignment in terms of foundational knowledge if you desire a life that excels is that you must know first and foremost that you have a place in destiny even if you don't know what that place is have it at the back of your mind brothers and sisters ladies and gentlemen that you have a role to play that means you are not just a number among the eight billion plus people roaming around the earth it is revealing it is healing to know that i count in destiny i count in god's program hallelujah you must know that you have a place then you must go further to know that place know your place in life and destiny something happens to an individual the moment you find your place of purpose your place in destiny the young boy Jeremiah had a conversation with God in chapter 1 and verse 5 and the Lord was revealing to him his destiny and he says before I formed thee in the belly I knew thee and before thou camest forth out of the womb I sanctified thee and I ordained you to be a prophet to the nations so if you ask Jeremiah who are you he would say by my divine mandate I have been called to be a prophet to the nation it doesn't matter who believed the vision or who did not believe the vision coming from the lips of God he says lo I come as it is written of me in the volume of the book I have to convince you that your academics is not why you leave it is only a passage to equip you so that you are equipped for life and destiny I need to convince you are we together that secular knowledge or your career as it were is not necessarily your assignment it can be part of your assignment it is your responsibility to work with the spirit of grace under a structured mentorship platform like this to find your place in destiny if you do not find your place in destiny you will live a life of anger hatred annoyance because you will watch people making progress in destiny they will derive a joy you do not know where it's coming from our world is full of frustrated people today who are just growing old they wake up in the morning they sleep late at night to eat the bread of sorrow there is nothing that is exciting about their living ask them what is your project at this point at best they'll say i'm looking for money 10 years later i'm still on that project age 50 i'm still on that project 80 years i'm too old to continue the project and they die a very frustrated life an intelligent god will not take the time to invest in building an individual who lives a wasted life here is the trajectory of the life of the average person you are born struggle your way through teenage begin to explore life and if you are fortunate to have good parents or a good system of guidance you will escape many regrets if you are not fortunate you begin to write a nasty story that sometimes you may spend the rest of your life regretting a few years later you attain 18 society calls you an adult and you begin sometimes a clueless journey into adulthood then marriage comes in then children come in you are confused they join you in that confusion and then if you are fortunate to have a career it may give you some sense of destiny until trouble strikes until spirit strike and then you continue that way adding age upon age and then when you get to 50 golden jubilee they call it midlife crisis all kinds of troubles begin to ferment themselves largely as a result of your not knowing how God designed life to work I hope I did not describe you I hope I am not describing where you are going to because that is a very 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 mediocre life doesn't give God glory there is no dignity in living such a life an intelligent God loves you more than that there is a path that leads to excellence life can be worth living when you understand that you count in God's program you believe that shout a loud amen. amen can you believe I'm still on my review number four 
when you know God when you know you when you know your place the next thing to know is to go through the sacrifice of understanding the principles of the kingdom you must understand the mysteries of the kingdom it's a non-negotiable pursuit because the life you have received in Christ is knowledge activated the life you have received in Christ is not intention activated is not wish activated is not assumption activated there is an exact knowledge like a switch that turns on light in every area of your life the assignment of a teaching priest is to make that journey easy for you not to replace your pursuit and sacrifice but to bring before you the mysteries are located for an excelling life you must know the principles of the kingdom job 38 verse 33 niv knowest thou the laws of the heavens it says canst thou set the dominion upon the earth your life is at the mercy of the mysteries of the kingdom that you know look up and let me give you a few of the mysteries one for instance is called the law of encounter that it is the people that do know their god who shall be strong and shall prosper another for instance is called the law of faith that the just in this kingdom lives by faith how about the law of honor that every door that closes closes because of dishonor dishonor to God to men and to laws how about the law of relationships that be fruitful means be relational I'm showing you some mysteries you have to learn how about the excellency of prayer that he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint how about the power of vision and its ability to evolve you to a realm where your life becomes undeniable which of these do you not know it is it is it is unfortunate to assume that you will magically enter a great destiny in ignorance nobody wins the olympic by mistake mastery is responsible for accuracy is responsible for greatness at any level he that strives for mastery is not crowned unless he strives lawfully make it as a project this year to damage ignorance from your life damage ignorance fight it like you fight satan there is something i do not know about relationships that is keeping my life stunted do you know not knowing the law of honor alone can keep backtracking your years because the heaven of heavens belong to the lord but the earth has he given to the sons of men how about knowing the power of words its ability to shape your destiny that where the word of a king is there is power and that if you are the redeemed of the Lord you don't just wish so you say so not knowing how to speak correctly says say not before an angel I made a mistake there are many people who are masters of careless speakings they have programmed disaster over their lives self-inflicted problems they chain themselves by themselves words how about the awareness that God is able to restore as a principle my God if you do not know for instance that the unit of destiny is time you will not pay attention to time you will allow your life waste away and not care how about when you discover that time has gone are you aware that there is speed in the kingdom are you aware that there is restoration are you aware of the mercy of God if you are aware do you know how to activate it because the mercy of God does not work for everybody the mercy of God only works for the broken and the contrite if you are not broken the mercy of God cannot be administered to you you know sometimes I look at believers and sincerely without a sense of pride I feel burdened in my heart because I begin to wonder when are they going to learn these things when When are you going to learn these things? You cannot become great if you do not know these things. Believe me when I tell you. It's not an issue of one day go better. That is absolute nonsense. You program yourself into an excelling life. You arise and shine because your light comes. I'm praying for somebody here. You have lived a life guessing your life maybe arrogantly so may god begin to structure your spiritual understanding
in the name of Jesus Christ that all these blame games about life and destiny you will take responsibility once and for all it is listen can I tell you the best time was yesterday but the next best time is now if you missed out on yesterday don't use the remaining time complaining reinvent yourself and begin the journey it is never late for a starter if you start there is honor in starting it says now is the day of salvation you may have missed it 10 years ago but you can still start and in God's economy he can show you mercy are you learning I told you something that when God wants to show you mercy he brings you under a grace that can help you and teach you there are many people who would otherwise not hear this truth you can see the difference like light and darkness the mysteries of the kingdom next foundational truth you need to know number five this is a very important one you must understand man my goodness my god lord help me say this the right way you must understand man man in all his dimensions you will be a loser in life if you do not understand men it's not an insult it's just a harsh description to force your mind to believe me you will be a loser in life if you do not understand how to work with men in this cosmos there is a spiritual component to men there is a psychological component to men there is a sociological component to men there are things if you do not know about men you will be angry for the rest of your life there are things if you do not know about men you will keep recycling scenarios of pain and disappointment and heartbreaks you must know men your prosperity comes from God through the hands of men and if you don't know how to receive it every attack you will ever experience in your life will have to be routed through man don't ignore men are we together if you do not understand man as the zenith of God's creation please look at me you know I was meditating earlier on on what I was going to share and when I came to this point I started laughing by myself I took a deep breath and I said my God how many people for instance just an example if I ask you what business do you do you will answer this way I do oil and gas am I right on that or I have a shop I have a mall do you know that economically speaking you are right but from a standpoint of higher spiritual wisdom you are wrong there is nobody who does the business of things everything in life is the business of men oil only has its value because men place value on it your shop only has customers because men have chosen the day men cease to place value on what you do it becomes valueless once upon a time value from men was placed on a typewriter and whoever owned it or could use it was termed valuable but because men refused to place value they graduated their value to something else today typewriter looks like a monument don't just say I am valuable I hope men have a demand for the value you have the entire business of everything including salvation is the business of men do not ignore men you will fail woefully so are we together Spirit break out Break our walls down That's what God is doing already Deconstructing negative beliefs Bringing you to a point where some of you Especially those who were not here when I taught this God is showing you your life in a mirror And you are seeing very clearly If I continue this way Trouble is waiting for me It's not about prophesying negative this immediately will bring you to a point where you take the position of a student and you realize that I have to be serious if I am not serious what my father cried about I'm about to cry about what my mother cried about I'm about to cry about 
you must understand man the bible says what is man that thou art mindful of business is run because of men not just ideas ideas only have their value because men make them valuable if men reject those ideas they become obsolete nonsense will have meaning when men accord it value are we together wisdom can be called foolishness if men reject it everything revolves around the economy of men if you know this you will be wealthy if you know this you will be great it was the business of men that brought Jesus to the earth restoring all things and restoring creation but ultimately restoring man men were so important that even in their degenerated state God still chose to walk on them and bring them back don't ignore men you will pay a very dear price it is in the multitude of men the Bible says that the kings are no lie can I give you the last one number six someone say thank God for koinonia for someone this is a bailout system for you mama cried and said Lord I don't know the way out but help my son and God brought you here to show you the way out you can return back and say mama God has answered the prayer finally your son is not a weak person like Gideon he has become a person of stature even by light six the sixth and final foundational knowledge you must have to live an excelling life is that you must know your adversary the devil I wish you didn't have to know Satan it would have been a lighter burden but he's been here to stay for a long time it's important to know him because of the destructive tendencies that come with that spirit called Satan the Bible calls him the thief the Bible calls him an adversary never calls him a friend the word satan means deceiver manipulator satan is not just the name of a spirit being it is a generic name given to a class of spirits they are called devils accusers deceivers they thwart the purposes of god over the lives of the saints please look at me satan will kill anything he can kill will steal anything he can steal will destroy anything he can destroy when you leave satan unattended to i assure you even if in ignorance he will not spare if satan did not spare a newborn baby and made sure that children died because a child of destiny was born you will be joking to believe there is no compassion the language mercy does not exist in the dark kingdom so from the days of john the baptist the kingdom suffered violent it would take the spiritually violent to take their portion in life and destiny by force your ministry will not rise just because you are kind say unto God how terrible art thou in all your works it says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you apostle do you think Satan is on my case yes sir by the integrity of Scripture do you think he plans to kill me in a hurry now that you are even here but thanks be to God which causes us always to triumph always thanks be to God the confidence of the believer is upon that which is written but Satan will kill anything he can kill like some of you allowed him and he's wrecking your business now but thank God you came tonight because every time light comes darkness must bow are we together are you ready to pray a prayer pray a prayer in one minute open my eyes to see everyone pray please online pray something is about to happen to your life in a very defining way they go from strength to strength every one of them that appears before the Lord even in Zion I assure you tonight you will never be the same something is about to come from heaven in Jesus 
mighty name we pray i want to make an altar call right now calling two people in one number one those who are saying i truly need jesus in a hurry and right now and then those who are saying apostle i want to rededicate my life to christ it doesn't matter what is right or wrong in your life when you come to him you will in no wise cast away please lift your right hand with me as a sign of surrender to this jesus and say after me as loud and as clear as you can say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for my sin i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i'm a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb i go forward ever and backward never amen keep your lovely hands father we thank you please keep lifting them as i pray for you your word declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away these precious ones have come declaring your lordship over their lives and in the name of jesus i pray that based on the authority of god's word i declare your sins forgiven i call you bona fide recipients of the life of god i declare that you will go from glory to glory and grace to grace that everything that is not of god it must give way in the name of jesus christ you are empowered by the spirit the same spirit that raised christ from the dead that same spirit empowers you to live a victorious life in the name of jesus go from glory to glory for in jesus mighty name i pray amen and amen